I'll meet up, I'm we anomaly. I never listen like the Aussie, that's why they say slob G beats, follow me. Honor in the presence of Hi, I'm Dino Bidal. I'm the producer of the annual Amman Stand Up Comedy Festival. This year is our third festival, and it's our biggest festival ever. We have eight shows over seven nights with over 25 comedians from all over the world joining us here at the biggest stand up comedy festival in Middle East history. So stick around, check it out. You're going to love this show. This year's festival is our most diverse lineup ever. I mean, the festival's grown from it first began in 2008, and it was the vision of Mayor Omar Mani, the mayor of uh, Amman, to have a not-for-profit festival that showcased stand-up comics as well as try to nurture and encourage Arabs to get involved in stand-up comedy. Uh, this year, our headliners include Omar Jalili, who's from the UK, has been in movies like Gladiator and The Mummy. Uh, Gabriel Iglesias from the States has been on Comedy Central, just did a 70-city tour in America. Aaron Cater from The Axis of Evil, and of course, the Arabic comic legend, Nabil Sawaha, joined us for an amazing show of eight shows over seven nights. It is NBC, right? Not NBC, right? It's M. Okay, sorry. Forgive me. Uh, <laughs> what would I like to tell the people that are watching me on NBC? Uh, if you get a chance to check out my show, come on out. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. Everybody laughs. Um, I know the king, if that means anything. Cool guy. He's real nice. You know, you're like, you can't talk about him. And talking about him in a positive way. He's a nice guy. Really great uh, host for uh, having us comics come down here and uh, introducing everyone to stand-up comedy. I know a lot of you guys are looking up here right now. Oh, man, these guys are getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> he looks like he ain't the last one. <laughs> thank you guys, thank you. This is so cool. Back second year in a row. Thank you very much, you guys. For coming. Thank you. <laughs> Woo! Like, I love you too. Give me cake. <laughs> Sorry, that's a reflex. <laughs> you guys are super close, man. You're right here. If I fall, show's over. <laughs> So I gotta tell you guys, from the last time being here and this time being here, I've noticed a couple differences. Last time around, um, they used Royal Jordanian to fly us in. Very good airline, they brought us in the same airline this time. First time around, I noticed that when we're sitting down, they, uh, they just played a recording. Real nice, you know. <laughs> Welcome aboard Royal Jordanian. Please fasten your seatbelt. It's a real nice presentation. But I guess they're having budget cuts. Because this time it was just a regular Jordanian, right? Like, <laughs> okay, okay. Welcome aboard, Royal Jordanian flight. Uh, what is flight number? 22, 22, non stop service to where well, you know where you're going. Yeah, big difference. Um, Last time around, they provided us with uh, transportation. They had transportation taking us around, and I thought that the ride was a little rough, and I said, well, you know, maybe next time around, it'll be a different situation. Apparently, the lines don't mean anything in the road. <laughs> they don't mean anything. They're just like there, so you know, oh, okay, that's a road. <laughs> I was impressed. You, know, <laughs> you don't have amusement parks. You just have a car. <laughs> No one uses the blinker. This is the blinker. Oh, I was like, wow. And I tried to talk, hey man, you want to slow down? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Or these guys were here before anyone. 
You are breaking stereotypes, my friends. Real Arabs haven't even left their house yet. They're home getting today, so they show up at 9.30. Where's everybody? What is going on? This is bull. Start again. Come on, bring Kader out. So, do you guys all friends? Like a Facebook group? Look at you here. You just keep in touch. Arabs on time. I like that. I'm gonna join that group. No, I'm not kidding. I was here at 7, and were you guys not the first people here? Like, how many of you? The, the two rows here? Do you have... Do you have no homes? This is what, this is what happened. Like, let them know. It's better than sleeping outside of the show. Well, welcome, young man. It's good to see people. We started on time, which is remarkable. I was recent. Everywhere is late. We know this. I was, at, I was at a hotel in Egypt, I swear to you. I asked for an 8 a.m. wake-up call. The next day I get a call, hello, it is 8.20. This is your 8 a.m. wake-up call. How can that be the 8 a.m. wake-up call? It's 8.20. I love coming back to Jordan, it's fun. I, went, I got here a couple of days ago and I went through security at our hotel. I had all these bags with me, because uh, I'm gonna be here for two weeks. And the security guy, that I swear this is true, I go through the scanner and he goes, looks at me, he goes, do you have a bomb or gun? And I go, I swear, I go, no. He goes, no, really, not even one? <laughs> like he was disappointed. So I said, uh, no, but Bukra, inshallah. <laughs> I'll come back and get a gun and bomb so you have something to do. He was what he wanted, to have a bomb or a gun. <laughs> Cameraman, how are you? You're young, how, are you, how old are you, young guy? How old are you? 15, you're, anybody younger than 15? You're not younger than 15. You could be 15, you have a beard and mustache or You're how old? 13. It's a little weird, you're like the Arab Justin Bieber. Look at you there. So everyone knows him. He's 13, he's famous. Famous. You guys aren't younger? 13, all right, very good. No, it's great, it's great you guys are all different ages are here. So what's going on? We got a lot of stuff. I, I forgot how much Jordanians love to smoke. Are the younger people, do you guys smoke as much or no? It's more, I only here, I'm at a hotel, I'm on the non-smoking floor, and there's fumes on the floor. In America, we go outside for a smoking cigarette break. Here you go outside to get away from cigarette smoking. It's like, I'm gonna go outside to get away from cigarettes. You go outside, you come in, it's like, oh, so disgusting, it smells like nature. Somebody smoke. Okay, Malboro, much better. <laughs> it's just different, different. So, I love coming here also. The, the history, the history you have in this region, especially in this immediate area, is so much more than America. In America, we brag about our history. We're like, oh, you see this building? 200 years old. George Washington, our first president, slept here. Here, in this year, like, you see this? Jesus had lunch here. <laughs> Okay, you've won. You cannot beat Jesus having lunch anywhere. I'm not making this up. You walk around. I was in Jerusalem, missing my family. So I'm of mixed heritage. I will tell you my heritage. Uh, the only thing I do in Arabic, I do this every year, but if you don't know, I'm, I'm, I'll tell you in Arabic. It's limited, but here's my Arabic. Uh, Abui Filistini. Filistini. Imi Mejnouni. My father's Palestinian. My mother's Italian. It's very nice. A crazy mix. My girlfriend, I have a lovely girlfriend, or I'll say fiance here in this part. Because it's wrong, but you know, fiance. My fiance. She's lovely Philistine from Palestine. I, I, I have, I ordered her and she came. And uh, I picked her from a book. Like, this is the one I want to send her. I ordered her as layaway, eight payments, and now she's with me. I'm going to be honest with you, I've been here with her a few years. I've never felt more, for any of you who might not, is anybody here not Arab who's here? Yeah. A few people? All right. But mostly women. Of the men, if you ever are so fortunate to have a relationship or get engaged or marry an Arab woman, you will never feel more loved in your life. Arab women are the most loving people I've ever, most loving, I'm not making this up. I'm not kidding. It's, it's, like, it's like a jacket on a winter day that comes around your shoulders and keeps you warm. I'm all out of love. I'm so lost without you. I know you were right. Believing for so long. I'm all out of love. What am I without you? Brand new. Brand new. Brand new. Brand new. Everybody says that Jordanians are so 
serious, they're complaining all the time. I don't see this. I don't see this. Everybody's smiling, having fun, you know? Even the security guards. <laughs> Security. Yeah. I go to the Hyatt. You know, and what is with the taxi drivers every time I say to the Hyatt? Hyatt? <laughs> oh, the Hyatt. Hyatt? I'm like, how many Hyatts are there? There's only one Hyatt. Hyatt Hotel, Hotel, okay, okay. Uh, My name is Aaron Cater, comedian from Hollywood, California. Good to be here. If people don't laugh, I don't get offended. I just stop that joke immediately and I'd start doing a joke that makes them laugh. Last year it happened where he's like, you want to go to the Hyatt? Yeah, Hyatt. You sure you don't want to stop one place? No, I have to go to the Hyatt. But first, maybe we go on... <laughs> No, where, where? A place, you know, for drink, women. What? <laughs> what is this guy? He's trying, to, he's trying to take me somewhere. Because, you know, I, my father's uh, Palestini, yeah? And Palestini, okay. Palestine, it's on fire. It's on fire. We need it to rain. <laughs> Palestine is burning. Yeah. And my, my mom, she's American, right? She's American. And uh, for my mom's side, it's very different because Arabs, you go to an Arab house, it's like food everywhere. You have to eat, you know? You're rude if you don't eat. You know, and with Arabs, very thin line between, you know, accommodating and accosting. You know what I mean? There's, there's, there's hospitality and then there's hostage taking. You know what I mean? <laughs> Arabs don't know the difference between this. It's like, and Arabs, they always know your schedule. <laughs> right? My cousin Fayez, old guy, you know, you want to eat? No, I'm not really hungry. You can eat! <laughs> Okay, I'll eat a little something, but I have to go in 10 minutes. You can stay longer than 10 minutes. And I'm like, no, I have to be somewhere. They will wait. It's like, how do you know my schedule so well? If they're very good friends, they wait. I would like to say that NBC, because it's the biggest network in the Arab world, everybody watches NBC. I've been waiting for NBC to come and see this festival and to witness what's going on. Every year we do this, it keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Finally, NBC, you come, so. Ahlan Sahlan, Behavik NBC. Keep it going for DJ Hans Flom. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there, everybody. My name is Edwin San Juan, the Filipino comedian. Well, if people didn't laugh and they started throwing food at me, I'll just have breakfast in the morning. Filipinos, when we get old, we all look the same. <laughs> Whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. <laughs> when Filipinos get old, we look like this. 